Shifting focus now to West Asia, if you have been following the Israel Hezbollah developments, you would see headlines like Hezbollah fires 200 rockets into Israel, Israeli army officer killed in Hezbollah rocket attack, or Hezbollah-Israel conflict heats up. If you have seen these headlines, I'm sure you must have asked yourself, how does a non-state actor like Hezbollah keep up the fight against a military giant like Israel? Well, the answer might surprise you. Hezbollah is going old school. Coded messages, landline phones, pagers. You heard that right. Hezbollah is using low-tech strategies to try and evade Israel's sophisticated surveillance technology, a simple yet effective measure to take on one of the world's most powerful militaries. According to news agency Reuters, the Lebanon-based group has also been using its own tech, like drones, to study and attack Israel's intelligence gathering capabilities. Hezbollah's leader, Sayed Hassan Nasrallah, has described this as a strategy of blinding Israel. Remember, the two sides have been trading fire since the war started between Israel and Hezbollah's ally Hamas. While the fighting on Lebanon's southern border has remained relatively contained, stepped-up attacks have intensified in the recent weeks. All eyes are on this conflict in West Asia as fears grow that it could spiral into a full-scale catastrophic war. According to Reuters, Israeli strikes have killed more than 330 Hezbollah fighters and around 90 civilians in Lebanon. Israel says that attacks from Lebanon have killed 21 soldiers and 10 civilians. Israel also says that it is responding to quote-unquote unprovoked firing from Hezbollah. In the conflict, Israel has used electronic surveillance technology. The IDF has said it has security cameras and remote sensing systems trained on areas where Hezbollah operates. Israeli military is also regularly sending surveillance drones over the border to spy on its adversary. And what's more, Israel's electronic eavesdropping, including hacking into cell phones and computers, is also widely regarded as among the world's most sophisticated. Yet, Hezbollah has been able to sustain its fight. The Lebanon-based group has learned from its losses. They have adapted their tactics in response. Cell phones, which can be used to track a user's location, have been banned from the battlefield. Instead, a more old-fashioned means of communication is being used, including pagers and couriers, couriers who deliver verbal messages in person. Hezbollah is also reportedly using a private fixed-line telecommunications network, a network dating back to the early 2000s. And that's not all. They are using code words for weapons and meeting sites. Of course, Hezbollah's media office is yet to comment on the revelations, but it is clear Hezbollah is relying on low-tech countermeasures to sustain its conflict with Israel. Security experts are not surprised. They concur some low-tech countermeasures can be quite effective against high-tech spying. In fact, one of the ways that Al-Qaeda's late leader Osama bin Laden evaded capture for nearly a decade was by disconnecting from the internet and phone services. He also used couriers for communication. Not all agree that Hezbollah's strategy is effective. According to one former CIA analyst, the just the simple act of not using a cell phone at all can make it much harder to find and fix a target. It can make Hezbollah's leadership far less effective at communicating rapidly with their troops. You see, Hezbollah and Lebanese security officials believe Israel has been tapping local informants as it zeroes in on targets. Hezbollah began suspecting that Israel was targeting its fighters by tracking their cell phones in addition to monitoring video feeds from security cameras installed on buildings in border communities. In December 2023, Hezbollah had reportedly urged residents in southern Lebanon to disconnect any security cameras they own from the internet. And then by early February, another directive was issued to Hezbollah's fighters, no mobile phones anywhere near the battlefield. 
In fact, according to reports, Hezbollah would perform surprise checks on field units to see if members had phones on them. Hezbollah has been flaunting its ability to collect its own intelligence on enemy targets and attack Israel's surveillance inst installations using its arsenal of small homemade drones. Remember last month, Hezbollah published a nine-minute long video which showed drone footage of the Israeli city of Haifa, the site of Israel's nuclear facility. Hezbollah says it has also shot down or taken control of half a dozen Israeli surveillance drones, including Hermes 450, Hermes 900 and the Skylark UAVs. After capturing the Israeli drones, Hezbollah operatives reportedly disassembled them in order to study their components, all simple strategies to try and counter Israel. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.